All right, let's see what mystery I'm gonna be solving today. Looks like a bakery. Oh, they have a lot of pies, huh? Oh boy, it's really hot in here. I'm gonna have to put my hat down. There we go. Oh, good morning, Miss Spaniel. How are you doing today? Huh? Oh, uh, I'm so sorry. I did not see you there. I, I was just um, really busy. Uh, you're Marcus, right? Oh yes, yes I am. I'm here for the uh, investigation of whatever it seems that you have lost. Oh yes, perfect. You're probably wondering what it is that I've lost. Well, I didn't want to state what I lost because I was afraid that you might have uh, laughed at me. But um, I think you'd understand if you're into like prized possessions kind of thing. Oh yes, I, I am. I have plenty of basketball cards that I would rather not lose. Oh, then you would understand that there is a baking competition for pies and I made a pie that was the best pie ever. And right after I took it out of the oven and set it down for a couple of minutes to let it uh, cool down, it just vanished. And I have no idea where it is. I, I literally looked everywhere and it's gone. I don't know what to do. Oh, that's terrible. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, do you happen to know what time you took it out of the oven and let it cool down? Oh yes, I think it was around somewhere like 9.30ish, 9.34, somewhere around there. I wasn't paying too much attention to the clock because, you know, I was just trying to get ready for the competition. But if I don't have my pie, that means that I won't be able to go to the competition. So what's the point? Don't worry, Miss Spaniel. We will find your pie before the competition. I just need you to tell me exactly what you did today and exactly what times you did it at. Okay, well, you see, this morning I got up really early and when I came to the shop because I wanted to get ready for the competition, of course. And, well, before I came in, I saw a couple of crickets and I thought, well, why not feed them? So I came inside and I got up some pieces of bread and I shredded them into little tiny pieces for the crickets. And so when I went outside, I fed the crickets and I came back inside. And then I looked out the window and they were gone, of course, because, you know, they're always hungry. So then I continued on baking my pie. So I proceeded to baking my pie and what I was doing was gathering all my ingredients and getting everything ready so that I could just bake it and get ready for this competition. Oops. And um, let's just say that, you know, I made a little bit of a mess, but that's okay because you can tell I cleaned it up pretty well. Um, yeah, and then I put it in the oven and maybe an hour later I took it out and I set it right here on the counter by the oven door and it was gone. I have no idea what happened. I just took it out like usual. I smelled it to see if it smelled good and then I put it on the counter and waited 10 minutes for it to cool down while I was restocking on some other items and bam, it was gone. Hmm. So you're saying that you fed some crickets and then you came inside and proceeded to make your pie. Um, I just have a question for you. How long in time did you feed the crickets and then come inside and finish baking your pie? Oh, I would say maybe two hours, maybe two and a half hours, somewhere between that. Um, I did leave the door open a little bit, but I know for sure that no one came in because I didn't hear or see anyone. Um, I like to keep the door open for customers, even though I didn't really have anything to sell other than these pies on the shelves. But I'm surprised those pies aren't gone. I, I don't understand. Well, you see, Miss Spaniel, a good percentage of my mysteries or investigations at food shops, you know, full of food, uh, a lot of them are because of crickets. And you know, crickets are obviously really hungry. So there's a possible chance that a cricket could have somehow gone in here and possibly eaten your pie. I guess that does make sense. But if you really think about it, I do have other pies and cakes on the shelves mm -hmm. and those aren't gone. So possibly someone else could have done it. Well, what are your pies up there made of? Oh, my pies up there, they're made of raspberries. I like to put raspberries in my pies. I think they're really good and they get a really good amount of people buying them. So I proceeded to make more 
raspberry pies. Hope that makes sense because I used to have a cricket back then and he did not like raspberries. I tried to feed it to another cricket but they didn't like the raspberries. I'm pretty sure they might be allergic to them or they just don't like them. So there's a possible chance that a cricket could have come in here and ate your pie. Huh, you could be right. I mean, the pie that I made for the competition, it didn't have anything with raspberries inside. So, it must be possible that a cricket ate it. But if a cricket ate it, where did where did he take it? I mean, I was here the whole time. I would have heard something if the cricket just made the pie fall on the floor and started eating it. There must be another way that the cricket got to it. Well, by looking at this table, you can see that it's quite close to the counter. So what I'm thinking is the cricket probably went up there and ate it, but that doesn't make sense because the plate is missing as well. You do put your pies on a plate, right? Actually, no, I don't put anything on this counter or this side of the counter um, other than my pies and all my baked goods. Um, I like to keep this side really clean, so that's why I put my food on here without the plates. So, yeah, that's probably why you don't see a plate. Well, it seems that we have solved the investigation and probably came to a conclusion that the cricket ate it. Or some cricket ate it. Well, one thing doesn't make sense. Because right after I fed the crickets, I came in and I let the door stay open for at least five minutes. And then I went over back to the door and I closed it. So. There's a possible chance that the cricket that ate my pie is probably still in here. Yes, I do see your point. I mean, there's really nowhere that the cricket could hide. So there's probably another way that it got out and started leaving, I guess. But other than that, what, what would you do to the cricket? Because I, the cricket is just a cricket. They don't really know much. Well, I would find the cricket and feed it, of course, because I love feeding the crickets. Um, I mean, if it really enjoyed my pie, I would love to give it more. I don't think I have any more time to go to the competition, but um, I, yeah, I, I would love your company to make another pie if we can make one in time for the competition, of course. Well, if we do not have that much time for the competition, then why even make a pie? Well, what I was saying is, if we make the pie in time, we could possibly go to the competition and make it in time, but we'd have to start now. What was that? Uh, I'll go check it out. It seems as if the commotion came from over here. Huh. I bet you something happened up here. <gasps> Aha! I found the pie! <coughs> no, no, it's okay, it's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. I just need this pie. This isn't for you, this is for a competition. But I'm pretty sure Miss Spaniel wouldn't mind getting you a pie. <coughs> Mystery solved. Come on, little buddy. Let's get you a pie. Oh, Miss Spaniel, I I found your pie, and I found the cricket. It doesn't even look like the cricket even touched it. Do you think it's still good for the competition? Oh, uh, yes, of course. I'm sure they'd understand. It's not like it would bother them, of course. It's happened to them quite a couple of times at the competition. <laughs> so, you must be hungry, huh? Well, I can make you a pie. It won't take that long, and I promise it won't have any raspberries in it. Come on, let's go. All right, here you go. Yeah, I hope you like it. Well, I do want to thank you, Marcus, for helping me out here. Um, I really do appreciate it. If there's any way I can repay you, Please, just let me know. Really, it's no problem, Miss Spaniel. It's my job, and I really love doing my job. But there is one thing that you could do for me. I love pie, it's so good. Hey guys, it's LPS Sugar Pie here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I apologize if you could hear any background noises. Um, yeah, it, we're going camping tomorrow, so like everyone's packing up and getting ready to go. So yeah, that's why you can hear all those noises. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a like and comment down below which part of the video was your favorite part. And be sure to subscribe and click on notifications on for this channel. Oh boy, that's a mouthful of words. Also, I will have some more videos coming out when I go camping because my friend who's going camping with me is also an LPS tuber. 
well, I would say now PS tuber. She's a YouTuber. Um, yeah, so we might make some videos up there. So just yeah, look out for this. Hi.